Did you know the US had a plan to use nuclear bombs to build an alternative to the Suez Canal? We'll explain, but let's get some context first. The Ben Gurion Canal project, alternatively known as the Israeli Canal or Palestinian Canal, is an ambitious proposal to construct a waterway through Israel. The canal would connect the Red Sea to the Mediterranean Sea, serving as a competitor to Egypt's Suez Canal, which currently sees the passage of 12% of the world's trade and 10% of global oil distribution. The project is estimated to cost between 16 billion billion to 55 billion US dollars and would span approximately 182 miles or 293 kilometers, making it nearly one third longer than the existing Suez Canal. The idea of constructing an alternative to the Suez Canal has been discussed for decades. Named after Israel's founding father and first prime minister, Ben Gurion, the canal aims to address the various disruptions that have plagued the Suez Canal, including blockages and prolonged closures. And yes, in 1963, the US Department of Energy and the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory developed a classified plan that suggested using 520 underground nuclear explosions to aid in the excavation process through the Negev Desert Hills. This plan was eventually made public in 1993. The proposed route for the Ben Gurion Canal would start at the Gulf of Aqaba, near the port city of Eilat on the Israeli-Jordanian border. It would then traverse the Arabah Valley for about 100 kilometers between the Negev Mountains and the Jordanian Highlands. The the canal would turn westward before reaching the Dead Sea Basin and continue through a valley in the Negev mountain range. Finally, it would curve northward to circumvent the Gaza Strip and link up with the Mediterranean Sea. Clearly, the canal would offer similar advantages to the Suez Canal, allowing ships to bypass the more extended route around Africa's southern tip and the Cape of Good Hope. The exact details and timeline for the Ben Gurion Canal project are still under discussion, and it remains uncertain whether the project will come to fruition. However, the proposal has generated significant interest and debate given its potential impact on global trade and geopolitical dynamics. This is particularly noteworthy when considering the economic stakes involved. For context, the Suez Canal reported a record annual revenue of 9.4 billion US dollars for the fiscal year ending on June 30, 2023, highlighting the economic potential of such a waterway. Were the Israel Canal constructed, it would redirect a substantial proportion of this revenue with obvious consequences for Egypt. Moreover, the canal would give Israel further leverage both regionally and globally, allowing it to partially control a key maritime route that could influence trade dynamics, enhance its geopolitical standing, and potentially serve as a strategic asset in diplomatic negotiations, with global trade only set to increase as states across Africa, Asia, and Latin America continue to develop. The possibility of diversifying one of the world's major naval choke points remains an attractive proposition for ensuring the resilience and efficiency of international commerce. However, the possibility of the Ben Gurion Canal's construction remains as uncertain as the current global geopolitical landscape.